Good morning and well good morning for me and hello to everybody else every day with me Nick and I'm Nick um, We're what we're we doing today. I'll tell you what we're gonna do today We're gonna split wood. We're gonna get you're gonna get the last of this uh, Of this wood pile split. So what I've just been doing here for the last 20 minutes I've just been piling it all next to the infamous Janssen FS35 kinetic log splitter which all you know if you've followed me in the past love this machine i have had some some issues with it but it was dealt with uh through Jan through jansen jansen wherever you want to i say that all the time but it was dealt with through them they were very good with me they sent a full complete clutch uh drive sort of unit over i've got it i have got it in the shed I did manage to strip this one down and fettle it up a little bit and it's uh it's it's it got it going again. Don't know exactly what I did, but I did change some some shim washers and things like that just to you know close up some uh, some thrust. So maybe that was it, I don't know. Um what else we got? So yeah, the kinetic log splitter, amazing. Um, really, I've just checked the oil as well. Now I, I changed the oil after about 20 hours of use. I, the only thing I wish I'd done with this splitter when I got it, which I didn't really know about back then, was put a hour meter on it. But I reckon I've got 140 maybe hours on it. Somewhere in that region, 120, 140 hours. And the oil, is still as clean as the day I put it in. Is that unbelievable? I know that's not always good, but I will put it. I will do an oil change um, through the winter when it's back inside. So you can see it's not left outside anyway. It's in right good condition. Um, obviously this is one the paint's worn down, but I just give that a light coating of oil when it goes back in. Um, but yeah, the the Anson. Kinetic log splitter with a 35 ton splitting force, really good. Uh, yeah, so we've just got the, the other half of this, um, where is it, Scott's Pine to do. We started piling it up, I think we'll work through this and then get another pile um, set up. Uh, we're hoping to, sorry about, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hoping to, to get that bay filled up there. And um, once that's done, um we'll work into that end bay which i'm currently working out of at the moment just depleting that wood so we'll, yeah that'll be for like next year that's for this year that's all the slab wood that we can we can use if needs be but we have got a delivery coming next month i hope maybe it's january for what's it for hardwood and softwood <laughs> um i've gone shares in with a few other lads and they're um they're, they're it's going three way um so we've got 20 22 ton kind of thing coming so that'll just go where it needs to um and that'll that's going to be hard and soft majoritively hardwood and then some softwood in there um so yeah that's about it. I have babbled on for four minutes again as usual. Hope everyone's doing good. What you're doing, leave it down in the comments below what you're on with. Um, one thing that I would like to sort of start taking on with this is, um, you know, obviously get to know you a bit better. Uh, obviously, I know quite a few regular commenters who, who are commenting on the channel and I do watch theirs in return, their, their content as well. But, you know, if there's others out there, um, just shout it up. You know, like to hear from everybody. Um, I don't often plug the subscribe, like, comment sort of thing. But if you do want to help us out, if you aren't subscribed, just press it because it costs you now. You know, I don't know if a lot of people are thinking it costs you, but it doesn't. Just press subscribe and it helps us as a YouTuber creator out. And that'd be fantastic. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to have to do as well. I'll have to... Uh, start linking other people's um channels that i watch because uh, some of them are really really great people 
you know, I, um, I've got the Frontier OS 27 sawmill. Jerry uh, from Bigelow Woodcraft, as you know, I've talked to him in the future about, he's got one of them. He's doing some amazing, fantastic things. Um, Ant's Pants, obviously, I've, we've mentioned him and he's mentioned me before. He's he's uh, He's got some great content. He's such a funny guy. Um, you know, I saw him with Sandy. I watch his content a lot. Um, he's got some good gear going on. Uh, some good projects he obviously he's, he's got a hell of a plantation as well which is great you know and maybe he's, you know in his lifetime he will he, he will work through all that but his next the next generation down will reap that uh, plantation big time uh who else we got oh surviving ringworm i don't know if anybody's uh watched his uh anyone on here who's watched his content but he is so so great is it what he does he basically lives in the woods. I can't remember what state he's in in America. He lives in the woods and he's just built a utopia in the woods. And uh, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous that here over in the UK, you can't just buy, I don't know, 10 acres of woodland and make it your own. You have to jump through hoops to try and get a building on it, never mind like what he's done. So that's why I want to move to America, why I want to move to Alaska primarily, but... Oh, mate, man, I tell you, what he does over there is, is great. I think his name's Ryan, I think his name is. Um, so, yeah, Surviving Ringworm. But, yeah, some great some great channels that I, I continuously watch. Uh, there's loads out there. There's loads. I can't comment on them all because there's just so much. And uh, it takes me about three days, four days to catch up with everyone and then we're back full circle again. So, anyway, I'm babbling on. Look at me. We're nearly seven minutes. Let's get on with it. Janssen kinetic log splitter in action now we got on choke pull it hey up there chicken <laughs> right give it a bit Holy.
Well, that's not the sharpest saw that I have. <laughs> Anyway, carry on splitting. Just want to say quickly before I start splitting there, I've got these, um, what do we call them, timber tongs. I don't know. And well, I've got Oregon brand and a Husqvarna brand. And hands down, all day long, I choose the Oregon brand every day. I mean, there's not a massive throw, throat in them, you know, but these have just been super comfortable to work with. If they did a bigger size, I'd be all over it. I don't know if they do, I think I did look. I think these are either a six or a seven. I, can't I think they were a seven inch um, version. Uh, whereas these, or were the six maybe? I don't know. Whereas these, I think these were a nines or ten. So, but as you see me there, I tried to put a bit of a, a point on. I need to take them into uh, into its shed and get them on the vice and get a bit of a point on the uh, on the ends. Whereas the uh, the Oregon ones, straight out the box when I got them, they were absolutely sharp as a razor. Well as a hook <laughs> and they are still very very sharp I know I've got my gloves on but they've held that point very very well granted I've only been picking wood with it but it's held that point very well whereas the Husqvarna ones when I bought them they were dull they were just flat at the end and they, they didn't dig into the wood and I can just I don't know there's something about the the ergonomics of the Oregon ones over the Husqvarna I like better. But these are essential if you're moving wood. They just make life so much easier. I would like a picaroon. I've seen the Fiskars one. I want a picaroon. So if anybody wants to donate one of them for me to try. I'm right here. I will try it for you. <laughs> right. More splitting guys. More splitting.
have it folks we're uh, we're all done bloody dogs we're all done for today about time and all because oh well, we're on the uh, oh, what we're on the 14th 14th of November today you know half three four o'clock it's it's coming in dark wait well, it's starting to you know dark enough so you can't really work much more than this um that's it all split now it's all stacked up behind me so i've managed to get oh what's that four and a half rows Yeah. I managed to get four and a half rows. When I first started doing this, <laughs> I packed it all in tight. Oh boy, was that a mistake? It uh, it had moulded up big time. Oh man, you should have seen the state of some of the logs I was pulling out. Man, they were wet through like 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 some sort of fungus and mold and anyway they they i ended up putting them dragging them all out and putting them in another you know to rotate it all put it in another sh in the, in another part of the storage sheds just to uh try and get it to dry out but um yeah that wasn't good that that was a big mistake so now i leave i don't know up 200 mil between between each row and that way it um it just breathes a little bit better um so yeah we're done we're bloody done I've done it by myself today i could have done with laura helping me out today it just makes the job a lot more the process a lot nicer however I am thinking of changing this process up a bit. I'm thinking of um, IBC cages, and I've seen a great a great example of that last night, and that was an IBC cage, but the the inner the plastic inner part, cutting in half diagonally, to make a roof out of the um, out of the diagonal cut part of the of the of it. So I thought, eh, I like this. I like the look of that. So you need to get rid of some of the, you need to get rid of them uh, inside somehow. Uh, but we have got I have got someone on marketplace uh, who's selling um, what do you call it IBC cages twenty quid twenty pounds. So it's not too bad. I might get uh, I don't know how many I'd need a few hundred. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much, how many cages would be inside there. I'd like to say maybe it's about eight or nine, maybe it's, I don't know. But if I had them in cages, I wouldn't have to stack them. I'd be able to split from the splitter straight into the IBC cage and then move out into wherever it needs to be to, to be, um, you know, drying sort of thing. So, yeah, that's that. Anyway. I'm going to waffle on again and that's no good to no one. just want to thank everybody for coming back to see us. And, uh, yeah, watch, seeing us whilst I was splitting this wood. Like I say, this was Scott's Pine. Uh, I did have a little bit of sycamore there that I was splitting. Um, that was off a root system, so off, off a, a stump. So, yeah, that was quite hard stuff, that actually. Um... I have got some ash and sycamore lengths to cut there, there over there on the wood pile. So we'll we'll cut them up at another point and another stage and get them done. But yeah, without further ado, I'm done for today, um, and we'll we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks very much, guys, and don't forget, like I said, if you could press that subscribe, maybe even like, dislike. Tell me why, what, what you like, what you don't like. You know, costs you nothing. Costs you nothing. Cheers guys, we'll catch you on the next one.